lazy. And if everything is not like we think it ought to be, we just say, let's try it next. Somebody gets their blessing when God set it up and made it just right for him to do it. You stop doing it because you didn't have the strength, or didn't have everything you needed to assist you. But I need to know this morning, is there anybody here that really believe and trust in the power of God? Amen. No, real talk, I mean, really, you know, we say amen, but... Um, uh, yeah, what we witness to is just seeing my like our lifestyle can line up with mm. what we say we know. Thank you, Jesus. One thing I know is who I am and whose I am and where I am going because. Yeah, where he leads me, I will follow. I need somebody under the sound of my voice this morning before we get into this word of God. I just need somebody here this morning to say, I surrender. Don't look at your neighbor. Don't say it if you don't mean it. I surrender. That's all we've been waiting to. He you say, I surrender all to him. Yeah, my precious Savior, I surrender all. How many of you got up this morning with celebration in your spirit and great expectation? You now come on with your heart, I tell you. Y'all, this is really unique yes, today. Yes, sir, because God just answered something for me that I've been wondering about. Would we still do it if we didn't have everything that we think we needed to get it done? That's a good question. Then would we still do what we did if we didn't have everything? I don't know. Um, Can I just uh, do this to get hooked up? While they were singing that song, God got this in my spirit and reaffirmed it. There is a name I love to hear I love to sing His praise It sounds like music in my the sweet name I know oh there is a name I love to hear I love to say
Conversation with God. He, uh, everywhere I looked, I saw stands where they had Easter baskets. Turned on the radio and they were talking about Easter. Resurrection. And I messed around and asked God. It's got to be more. It's got to be more than a rabbit. It's got to be more than, than an egg. It's got to be more than us even just knowing that he got up. It's got to be more. And you know, God, he whispered something in my spirit reminded me of what we talked about on last year. We talked about scripture that's founded in Malachi 4 and 2, and you all don't have to turn, turn there, you turned there last year. Okay. <laughs> if you were not here last year, write it down and go home and read it. Amen. It simply said, but unto you that through my name shall the Son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. And I, I thought about that. I said, man, you know, it's got to be more. And when I asked him that question, and he reminded me of what he gave me last year and the reason in which he brought it unto us last year was because he saw what Malachi saw and what we were living in on last year. And when he saw it, he gave us this passage and he allowed Malachi to prophetically speak a word unto them. You know, the text then talked about how, now I'm, I'm going where somewhere with this, talked about how 
Malachi was beginning to tell him, you know, you all have been out of captivity for a hundred years. He brought you out of captivity, and now you are, have more than you ever had before, but yet you're living in some of the most darkest times that we've ever lived in. And let me tell you what, what was going on then, when, when last year when we read it and talked about it, it was so dark then, there in, in the scripture, there in Malachi, began to remind them, look, it's dark. The priests don't preach no more. Amen. They lack. Amen. Uh, uh, services have become ceremonial. Amen. We, we, we don't give. The giving is just over. Mm -hmm. Nobody's living and everybody's trying to live according to what they feel success is, but they've let they have allowed God out of and not willing to allow him to come in. So now I got to tell you, there is a risen yes. Savior. Yes. I saw the rabbit. I see the egg. And I hear people talk about a resurrection. But when I asked God the question, he showed me something. He said, now look, you got all this. You have the knowledge of all of this, yet why is it that our lifestyle does not indicate that we trust in the resurrection power of God? Because if we trusted in the resurrection, ah, no, let me go back here. If we have the knowledge, when we have the knowledge, that gives us faith. Faith come by what? Hearing. Hearing what? The word. How can you? Here. Without a, how can he, Free. unless he be, sin. Okay, that's what Malachi was doing his job. So when he saw this, what was going on, and we have the knowledge of all of this, but why is it our lifestyle well, well. does not indicate that we have enough power mm -hmm. to live beyond uh -oh. the lustful desires of our first nature that's overtaking us and we have no power to fight it, yet we know of a power, but we don't trust in that power. Resurrection power. Let me tell you what it does. And what should have happened on last year after we heard the message, God is going to tell us what should have happened after we heard the message last year. What should have happened when you trust, believe, and trust in the resurrection power of God, then you become, you become Part of the solution. Amen. Yeah, yeah. And not consumed by the problem right. of sin yeah. that won't let you live in that divine order that God sent his son. Yes. Right. Ah, Y'all catching this? To be sacrificed and then allowed him through his power to get up. You become a part. Can we just talk about that? Yes. Of the solution. What? How do we become a part of the solution when we believe in the resurrection power? Mm -hmm. I want somebody to hear me. I said believe yeah. and trust in the resurrection. You know, you can believe in God without trusting in His Word and never see yeah. His Word manifested in your life. You got people that's been in church their whole life still talking about what David them did, still talking about what the priest did, still talking about what the bishop did, still talking about what the preacher did, what the pastor did. But what, why is it He had never done it for you? Well, you got to believe in the resurrection power of God. And when you believe in the re resurrection power of God, let me tell you what happens to you. You become a part of the solution. What is the solution? Well, I hear God giving us the solution in 2 Chronicles 7 and 14. Somebody go there. 2 Chronicles 7 and 14. Somebody say, I'm going to read it. If we believe, if we believe in the resurrection power of God, then we become part of the what? Solution and not consumed by the sin of our low nature. Now, look at this. It says, 2 Chronicles 7 and 14. <laughs> if my people, yes, Lord. Uh -huh. if my, if, yeah. if, 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 yeah. if, that really trust in the resurrection power. Right. I thought I'd just put that in there. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and what? Pray. And what? And what? And what? Then what? Then what? Then what? All right. So, since you read, 
One thing I know that is in you. You can't deny something that goes through your mind. The only way that it will not enter your heart is a lack of trust. Understand. I thank you, baby. Because you cannot live what you do not understand. But once you understand it, oops, there it is. Anybody with that? You become part of the I am part of the solution. I believe in the resurrection power of God. And I am part of the solution. Now, I'm looking at this and this is really an orthodox for Easter. But who says that we got to talk about a pagan rabbit? on a day when the world got to remind us that he got up. We ought to remind the world that he's up. Every day of our life and they will call us in to ask us, what y'all doing? For Easter. Resurrection Sunday. And he says here, if my people, my people, believe and trust in me. And you know, today, I find it strange that a whole lot of folks say they believe, but they don't trust. And we think that we are the first ones to witness folk with a hypocritical nature, claiming a father they really don't know, and don't trust him enough to get real with him, so he can do what he needs to do to cause you to make a decision that will cause you to be fruitful as his child. Because you know once you recognize in Galatians 4 and 4 that you are a son or daughter, don't you know you got ship? When you got ship, the same thing that he had, you had it automatically. But now, since we hold the solution, it says, if my people, and there were some people in the Bible then, Genesis 44, uh, a group that claimed special kinship to God, right? But they did not live according to his word and eventually they sought to kill him. You know some folk like that today? Say they really believe in God but they dislike everything that God stands for and anybody that stands for God they don't like you either but they're really living out the assignment that has been given to them because Jude 1 is a reality y'all it's just one book you read it they've been assigned in your life to take you out so they really don't believe in God but they dress up just like we do and they know much as word as we do because Judas know the word see if you don't study baby you're being taken out because prophets can make, mess up your mind with all these tricks and words and stuff, but when you uh -huh, when you care, when you have the resurrection of Christ and you believe and trust in the river, uh, resurrection of Christ, that's when you can live beyond the attack of the enemy and know that you are his child. It says, if my people, which are called by my name, are my people, those people that have decided that a charge in this sin sick world that you recognize a charge to keep I have in a God to go I just know that I am his child if my people that's, that, that, that's good if my people the ones that man my people have trusted someone other than themselves my people realizes that they are weak and where they weak I make them Strong, my people that trust in one greater and higher than themselves. My people, man, that seeks God's glory instead of their own selfish glory. And you know, I wish that we would recognize who we really are today so we can live beyond the attack of the enemy. I'm not saying that he will not attack you. It's inevitable that if you become a crow, when you become a Christian, it's inevitable that you will suffer. It's inevitable that you will be lied on. It's inevitable that you will be that you will be talked about, that you will be persecuted. All these things happen to you. I wish people really understood that folks would stop hollering that they're a child of God if they knew the suffering part instead of the amount, the amount of the blessing. 
A lot of us don't mind being called Christians because of where we live, what, what we drive, what, what we wear. Wow. Somebody in the church today because they thought they needed a new Easter suit to model in and they ain't going to be back until Mother's Day. Don't read I put this tie on this suit. This is a, is a, is a, is a uh, gift for my 50th birthday and I like it went with the suit. But look here. If I pulled everything off to tie off the vest off and stood here, God is still. Too many of us done stole God money to go buy an Easter suit. And don't need him to pay your bill next month because you charged it. If my people that are serving me instead of Satan. Because I want you to know that there's a word for these wishy-washy folk. Yeah, he that is not with me is against me. Matthew 12 and 30, there is no neutral ground. And the question today, are you serving God? Oh my God. Are serving yourself Jesus. in the name of the Lord. And I'm looking at this. I mean, God's people are heading in a, in a different direction. Mm -hmm. Where everybody else is running to the light of our God's people know that where He leads. Me, I will, God's people are walking by the light of God and the lamp of his pathway. They're walking by faith, God's people, and not by sight. Some of us are only with God as long as he's giving us. And let me help you out with something today. That there's a Lord. Corinthians. Second Corinthians 4 and 4. There is a Lord. Let me help somebody today. Because you might not be back until next Easter. <laughs> God's people recognize that there is a Lord. That's Lord of things. And what he does to take you out of the ordained assignment that you were born for, he gives you something in your weak state when you're tired of waiting on God because Isaiah says that once you're waiting on God, you get stronger. But when he sees you weaker, he gives you something to take you out of the will of God so you no longer are the solution, then you become part of the problem because what it is, you didn't wait on God to give you what he had for you and when Satan gives it to you, you take ownership of it so you ain't blessing nobody with your big house, your big car, and your good job. But God's people, God's people are always looking for somebody that's why you're part of the solution. God's people are always looking for somebody to what? Bless. Amen. And everybody don't need no car. Yeah. <laughs> everybody don't need no home. Everybody don't need what we think is something. Somebody need somebody to love them out of what they are. Somebody need to, somebody to love them out of that hurt, out of that pain. So need somebody to forgive them and show them that God will forgive you. All you have to do is confess. God's people. Part of the solution. See, when you become part of the solution and you can trust, trust the resurrection power of God, you don't look at yourself as powerless. But you look at yourself as someone that can reach and tap into the power. Amen. I can't do, but God's people that are called by God's people are people that know I cannot do, but I can do all things through what? Just gonna take care of lazy folk in the body of Christ. Hypocrites. Folk that say they don't do something, don't do nothing, gives birth to laziness. God's people are not lazy. We're always looking, and guess what? If don't nobody else want to do it, God's people. I, I, I'll go. I might not be the best speaker. Moses. But I'll go. 
I might have an attitude problem, Peter, but I'll do whatever. See, that's what God needs that to depart. If my, y'all catch that? Yes, sir. My people, which are called by my name. In the book of Acts, we read the disciples were first called Christians at Antioch. And the name was given to them in scorn. They thought they were mocking them. And I want you to know, is there anybody that call you who you claim to be? Outside of it coming out of your mouth? I wish somebody would make mockery of me by calling me a Christian. That's what's wrong. The solution, those that should have the solution, does not believe, trust enough in the resurrection power of God to live beyond what they say. If you know that you are a child of God, and when you are a child of God, all things are what? And all things become what? New. So if you are a new creation, there are some old things that are behind you. And when you are from that place, you identify with that place. So when they talk about you in that place, you say, yes, I am. Yes, I am. I am a child of God and I am from that place, but I'm from that place, not the closest place to that place. I am from fornication. I am from lying. I am from cheating. But I am a new. Yeah, great preacher. What you called by my name. See, when you call by his name, you already have a new identity. And when you're called by his name, do you not know the day when you're called by his name, he says in his word that he'll give you a brand new family, but some of y'all are still trying to hold on to your old family. And I'm not talking about kindred. I'm talking about that old things that are kidding you that you said you was going to let go. Like forgiveness. Unforgiveness. Yeah. But now I'm a new creature. Yeah. And God has shown me how to forgive because his son did it. Yeah. Yeah. So when his son did it, it taught me how to do it. And he did it after they beat him down. Yes. Yeah. After they stressed him out. Yeah. See, this is what we say we celebrate, but what are we going to do about what we know? Yeah. But after we trust in it, then we become a solution. And he's letting us know who we are today and what we can do. If my people would you call by my name. Mm -hmm. My God. For if you bear the name of Christ, the world expects more. Don't you know, you just keep your mouth closed, you ain't living nothing. Because you're making God look like he's punk. You're making God look like he's weak. When you say, listen to me today. When you say God is speaking because we're going to have to we're going to have to be a solution. And when you are a solution and call yourself a, Christ, a Christian, you can't be doing everything that they do to stay in with him. If your husband was a heathen when you married him and you happen yeah. to get saved. Yeah. Believe in the resurrection power of God. Yeah. Amen. And let your little light check. Yeah. You know he ain't no good run his bath water. Amen. <laughs> Fix his play. He know he ain't no good. He, he know it. But when you are called by his name, yeah. you sell his identity yeah. and you have his strength. Yeah. But we walk around talking about we are. Amen. And we cursing. Amen. We lying. Mm -hmm. We talking about folk. Mm -hmm. We gossiping. Mm -hmm. And don't you know that person called you to check you? Mm -hmm. yeah. See. <laughs> they called you, they was checking you. What'd you, say? you said you were saved. Mm -hmm. Call you just as big. And he'd be a good sister. And a fine brother that know the Lord. Say they do. Look here, Doc. I heard you did. Well, you know what we ought to do when we have the solution? Break them off by their own line. Thank you for enlightening me about that. Can we stop right now and have a word? Oh. You know what happened? They'll listen to you pray for them, but they will not call you anymore. Simple stuff. Would you call? I'm going to tell you to catch this. Call by. And when you become a friend of his, called by his name, Proverbs 27 and 6 becomes a reality. The wound of a is therefore greater than the kiss. If you have the solution, Amen. and if you believe in the resurrection power, don't you know God will give you the power to stand up to your
your siblings, to your family, to your cousin. They tired of kissing on them. They just don't know it. And we do it in the name of peace. I just don't want to start nothing. What if Jesus didn't say nothing? When they was cutting up in the temple. And he went in and turned the tables. Or what if he had to say, for peace sake. Unless they bring it to me. I ain't going to say. They weren't his friend, but he was there. Side like it go. He, they, they, they were not his friend, but he was there. And he went in. Called by his name. Y'all catching that? Now, this name is the brightest badge that anyone can wear. We got to understand that when we're wearing his badge, we operate for his glory. Yes, and when we operate for his glory, oh, Lord. and when we are called by his name, mm -hmm. do you not know whatever yeah. you need yeah, yeah. while you're on your journey? Yeah. God will, yes, he will give it to you. Yes, he will. Some of you may not be here until next Easter, but I want you to know today you've been chasing the wrong thing to get the results that you want. Amen. If you're called by his name, you're already a wealthy person. God. Yeah. The earth is the Lord's. Y'all ain't calling it yet. Yeah. But while you're chasing everything else, when you're part of the solution, you can tell somebody that I'm not in a hurry to get what God has for me because I've learned in Isaiah, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Yes. I'll have the wings of eagles and I can run and I won't get weary and I can walk and I show them fast. I, I believe that. He says that a call by my name. When you're called by his name, his name, greater things you will do. Then he says we're called by his name and then he lets us know after we're called by his name, he's still got something else for us to do. Yes, and we got to be careful how we live. Thank you. Yeah, listen. When we are called of his name, yes, Lord. how we act when we're called of his name, and where we go when we are called by his name. We got so many tricks today. They say God ain't finished. That's why you still going to the club. God ain't finished with me yet. Well, let me tell you, when you believe in the resurrection power of God, yeah, yeah. when he said it was Amen. finished, Amen. it is done. Amen. So if you want to leave it alone, Amen. let it alone. Yes. Yes. And when you let it alone, God will give you the power that you need to sustain you Amen. in the midst of your trouble. I hear him saying, I, yeah, and David said, I was young, but now I'm old, but I never seen the righteous that believe in the resurrection power of God. I've never seen them forsaken. Somebody's watching you and you're holding the solution. And I hear God said in the scripture, I hear him. Then Chronicles saying, telling us what we got to do. All right. Yeah, yeah, we got we to do something. Come on. We are told first that we are God's people. Mm -hmm. Then that we are called by his name. Yes, sir. Then he tells us what we ought to do. Yes, yes. First, we got to humble ourselves. Oh, yes. See, folk would have stayed at home today. If they'd known, they gotta, they're going to hear that they need to do what they already know they need my to do. God, God. Humble yourself. It is not easy for right. an average man to do this, all right. especially the average American man, right. the man that already feels that he's already manned up. He don't need to man up. I'm already man. I was born a male child. I don't need to man up. Well, I came to tell you that he wants you to humble yourself because when you humble yourself, then you can talk to him, but you can't talk to him, but he will hear you until you humble yourself. And how 
can you humble yourself? Yes. You got to recognize that you got to profess some things yes, and sir. confess some things in your life to humble yes, yourself. Lord. You got to go low so God can go high. Yes, you got to stop seeing yourself as something great. Yes. Man up and recognize yes. that you really can't do it. Yes. You really want to get right. Yes. You really want to do right. But yes. Yes. 720 won't let you do right because yes. when you desire yes. to do good, but you are yes. all by his name. Yes. Humble yourself. Yes, Lord. Know you a humble, humble. Yeah. Yourself. Thank you, Jesus. Know you a liar, you're humble. Yes, yourself. No, you ain't Lord. never. It ain't you doing it. You got it. You cursed. Woo. Yes, you are. Say what I desire to do. Yes. Woo. Romans seven twenty, man. Y'all need to go read that sometime. What I, what I desire to do, I know what's right. I know I, I really want to do what's right. I, I know to do what's right. I've been told what's right. I've been shown what's right. But when I desire to do what's right, it's, yeah, I do wrong, but it's not me that do the wrong. It's just the sin that's in me. Come on, we got to man up and let pride go. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. When a woman lies in a whole month of your whole life, when are you going to let it go? You can't let it go until you let God know it's in there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Humble. Yeah. Yeah. Women. Yeah. 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 Amen. 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 You cannot be. Come on. Listen. You cannot be the woman of God that God made you. Trying to live by your own standards. Because another man hurt you, don't make the man that you got not pay for the pain that somebody else Amen. calls you. You got to humble yourself and tell the truth, Lord. It's hard for me to submit. I've been hurt. Yeah. I've been dogged. Yeah. Wow. I've been used. Yeah. I'm distrusting. Yeah. Just humble yourself yeah. and tell it. See, after you humble yourself, then you can talk to the word. Yeah. Work, work. Yeah. 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 Work, work. I hear you. Sir. Are y'all hearing me? You got the solution. Humble yourself. And when you humble yourself, then God can have his way in you and use you. We are so proud and boastful, mm. yes, naturally. Mm. We take credit for yes. everything that we have. We don't mean to. Right. When we don't have it, we trust God to give it to us. And after we get it, it becomes ours. Yeah. Yeah. Like your job, <laughs> your check, mm. your car. My goodness. When you didn't have a car, somebody picked you up for church every Sunday. Mm. And now you got a car. Mm. You make excuses for not coming because you don't have no gas, you gotta clean it up, and that's my only rest day. I gotta take care of my car, this is my blessing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you no, no, listen, listen, y'all. We're talking about the resurrection power. We are none of us that they acknowledge the resurrection power, but none of us hope to live under the unction of our first nature. We ought to be able to stand up. Without any pride and say, not my brother, not my sister, not my wife, not my husband, not my family. It's me, Lord. Standing here in the need of prayer. We got to humble ourselves. Our pride must go, y'all. Pride of position. Pride of possession. Pride of your race. And understand God's grace. We, we got to let all this stuff that's in the way go. We must say like John said. And John said, I just said a moment ago, that he must decrease so that God, how many of us said that? Look in the mirror with all your stuff. And say, I ain't nothing. I'm old enough to say, I ain't nothing. But whatever I am, God made me. I am that I am told me. That I am a child of God. I am assures Jesus' is kindred. I am your airship of... Oh, come on now. Come on now. You got to humble. But see, after you humble yourself, your eyes are open. Until you really humble yourself and speak things that you want up out of yourself, out of yourself. I could not become the man of God I am today without looking in the mirror and telling God the truth on myself. No, I didn't confess. To a human, can't no human. What you do? What you say? You got folks thinking all they got, all they got to do is 
tell Bishop, telling me is one thing. But trusting God to heal you is quite enough. You can tell me all your business. Because I am a shepherd. But the change ain't going to come until you trust in the Lord that sent me for you to tell you. Hey! Somebody catching that? Hallelujah. Let's see here. Amen. We are called by his name and we humbled ourselves. And it means, to humble ourselves means not only to confess our sins to God, but to admit that there is nothing good within us. Amen. And that we can do nothing without him. Y'all hear me? Nothing good in us and we can do nothing without him. We are not to depend on our talents, our brains, our ability, but all together upon God because it is God. If you're smart enough to obtain a degree, if you're smart enough, babies, to go from one great level to the next, and if God be God, and you at a young age, I need you to believe today and trust in the resurrection power of God. And that star test <laughs> is nothing for the resurrection power Amen. of God. Amen. Do you want wisdom <laughs> to pass that test? Right. See, I know some things y'all didn't get Come on. at an early age, Amen. but I know God. Yes, all right, all right. If you just humble yourself, yes. 